You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for July 28th. It's Jesus Religious Sunday. I'm Andy. Oh, man. There you go. Sam, producer Sam is here. Now, Jen, before we started recording, had a question. She wasn't quite sure when I referred to Janice and Jean, who I'm referring to. <laughs> Some Maybe of them like they're interchangeable. A little but bit. I think I understand now. Janelle is Janice. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. I love the face she made, like, duh. Uh, and Janelle and Jen is Jean because. See? <laughs> See? Jen is Jean because why you wear you a lot of denim. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently today you do. <laughs> yeah. She is the denim diva. All right. Mm. At least I'm not denim Dan. That's all good. <laughs> well, or right. not so nervous Purvis. <laughs> True. Which as is a good we, name, by the way. Well, as we discussed. <laughs> yes. Many moons ago. Throw it back. Good, yep. Doing the throwback. But today we're doing, we're talking about Jesus. Jesus Religious Sunday. And all mm, things that goodness. have to do with Jesus. Especially church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, if you went to a church today and you... Um, watched more of the actual church service on the TV screen, on like the projector instead of the stage. Like you, laser church. Right, laser church. You may have been at a church with lasers or something else. Now, Jean and Janice, <laughs> do you know <laughs> the amount of production it takes to get that all that production stuff going? I I would imagine a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah, to a degree. I've I've been in tech booths. I've seen what's back there. No. Oh, you See are not he's in the light. You are not ready. You are not Butchers ready for the amount that. of preparation it takes. Okay. This is like this is like Super Bowl. It's like Uber okay. Mega Church. This really? is like Super Bowl. All right. Okay. Be- Look at all that. I've seen this. I love there it. There are 14 different cameras. Wow. Got a showrunner. Yep, there we go. Chet is mic'd. I think we I think Chet is mic'd. <laughs> <laughs> Look at look There's at all those team. monitors. Yeah. Oh, podium's coming out. Watch out. Watch out, Andrea. Oh no, Andrea. That, whew, Andrea almost got it there. Yeah. She almost got podiumed. Did that ever happen to you, Jen? Not one time. You never got podiumed? No. Is it was there because that was someone yelling in your ear? Podium. Watch out, Jen. <laughs> Oh, no, because we didn't use podiums. We didn't use podiums. We oh, you didn't, didn't even that. use podiums. So that's that's a different that's a different level. I recognize yeah, that. We church. didn't want to get hurt. You recognize that I church, do. you know? I do. It's elevation, right? Yeah, it's got the Christian Chris Brown. <laughs> Christian Chris <laughs> Brown. Very different. Okay, so that was <laughs> 14 different cameras. It it looks like, I don't know, the only thing I can compare it to is whenever you see a sporting event and they show the behind the scenes of all the people in the control room. It looks like a major sporting event. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I imagine it's great. Well, it's I have been question. in the control room of the church that Janelle still attends. I used to as well. There's a whole room of like, they have 30 something campuses and there's a live feed of each of them. Wow. Just so you can see how they're doing. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, it's, it's basically small television, television stations and mm-hmm. there. Um, or or the television spot in Walmart. Yeah, that, <laughs> with fewer price tags on them. Yes, that's the only difference. <laughs> that's the only difference. Is this too much? That's the question. Depends on who you ask. Well, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> You're well, the I most. Know, it's about the total experience. You don't just focus on the production area. You experience church through different forms of media. So I say 
I, I mean, I like it, but that's just me. Some people don't like to watch their church on TV. I get it. Some some people would say that it's not worshipful, but you know, I mean, so the way the way I've always put it uh, in the past is, so I used to be a worship director and a video director. Um, and both of them have merit as far as artistry goes. And the idea that somebody who can't sing, can't play an instrument, can't do, you know, the stuff up front to say that the hard work that they're putting in with, with that kind of motivation to make things, um, better Mm -hmm. for the congregation and the church to say that that isn't as worshipful as say the singer i I think i think that's a disservice to the church to say that i would say that i don't think it's distracting i think what was distracting was back in the day when they let me run the projector and i'm not (laughs) talking about the video projector with the the hand God. Yes, the overhand, yes, the hand of God as you slowly move <laughs> one one transparent to, yeah. to the other one. Or we had we had a slide projector, so <laughs> and and for some reason it was just like this huge remote, and so whoever was in charge of the slide thing had to push it, and if they didn't push it at the right time like the slide wouldn't go. And then if you pushed it and it didn't respond and then it responded too late and you pushed it again, you went too far again. And I remember one, one, one projector we had at one church in particular um, was so loud every time it would change slides. You'd hear oh, yeah. go, <laughs> oh, I remember wow. that. Yeah. I remember that as a, I never had that at a church, but you know, as a kid in elementary school, when they'd roll in the, the slide cart, you're like, yeah, <laughs> let's go. We're not learning today. <laughs> or the film strips. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Those were fun. If they play a tape or even a vinyl <laughs> along with the film strips. And it would beep. It would beep. The beep. And the teacher would go, boop. Yep. Yeah, that's what, that was the sign to do the next yep. slide. Beep. Jen, you well, might back in the day. Uh, back in. Oh, well, yeah. I heard, I've heard stories back in the day at this same laser church, as you put it, um, there was somebody who had come to Christ recently, but he came from like a hardcore drug background and he was in a shootout and lost a finger, but he was the guy who did the overhead projector. <laughs> so it's a little distracting when you're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. <laughs> Somebody's missing some digits. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Janelle, your thoughts. Well, I think it all comes down to the attitude of the heart, of course. You can be distracted by anything. I could be distracted by somebody's denim Dan, you know, but I'm just, we, Agreed. and we did have one. We did actually have one. Uh, define, define being distracted by de- somebody's quote I, denim Dan. I, I'm not sure what a denim Dan is, to be honest. Well, that that yeah, is yeah, like a guitar player that is <laughs> wearing a jean jacket and jeans and just oh. all denim. Yeah. It's and head to toe. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know what you're sure talking I'm about. Andy, wear that exact same thing. <laughs> Hold on. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, okay. And I, I'm offended by this because I'm going to show you a video that I know that you're referring to. <laughs> the thing is, now that's kind of current. Wearing denim on denim, that's kind of a thing now. But back then, it was not a look. Yeah. Uh, Janelle. What? This, this, this is like my, the core of, of who I am. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we the core go. Of who you are. Look at these outfits. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's Wait, go. Look at that. Denim on denim. <laughs> I am the bass player in this. Look at that. That's me. <laughs> Is this coming back, Jen? <laughs> this style? It, you know, no, no, it's not. Honestly, I've seen Andy wear clothes that are... Almost exactly the same thing. And I've heard him do that bass line at church a couple of times. <laughs> Just put a bandana on him and that's yeah. Andy. And unless Andy I, actually usually shows up in his attire from work because he comes straight from the station. So he's usually dressed. Which is what? 
Uh, it's like that, only with more buttons buttoned. <laughs> yes, less chest hair. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, more chest, chest hair. hair. Oh my gosh. You have way more chest hair. Than no, you. that's what I meant. I meant. I meant. I have. He has less chest hair than you me. You have what I would call a tuft. <laughs> this oh. guy did some manscaping. This guy definitely did some manscaping. <laughs> You were talking about invested up. I mean, you got to really have a vested interest in this. I tell you, <laughs> Janelle, is this the <laughs> denim Dan you're talking about? No, this guy was in a jean jacket and denim jeans. Okay. Was he wearing a painter's cap too, or like one of those cadet things? Oh, was he no, a no, he would always wear a ball cap. Mm. All right, I'm googling denim Dan. <laughs> Was it a denim ball cap? Don't Did share screen those? until you've seen what comes up. Please. No, it wasn't, Jen. <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of guys with their shirts off and just jeans. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't, don't share the screen. I'm not. I uh, Don't worry. I won't. Although, okay. <laughs> this is After a guy. Last week's mishap. That's right. Okay. I'm, uh, this, I'm going to share one picture. And that's all. One picture. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Denim Dan. Oh. <laughs> that, that, uh, I feel bad for that guy. Wow. <laughs> like, I don't know know he's, not. <laughs> he's he's showing off some knee. That's a little too much skin for me. Yeah, but really. especially at church. You don't want to show off too much skin at church. It's distracting. Yeah. We used to have a guy on our worship team <laughs> that he got sweaty during worship. And the biggest spots, of course, were under his arms, but oh, also his yeah. knees for some reason. Oh, and his knee and he, he, no, the front of his knees. <laughs> How? So I know. So every time he came off stage, he was like dripping and he kept wearing tan pants. I kept telling him, quit wearing tan pants. We started calling him demon knees. Like, because that's where the <laughs> demons come out because he's working so hard. He got them demon knees. <laughs> How can your knees sweat like that? I've never seen such a thing. His knees Ask were the crying. Lord. <laughs> Ask the Lord. Put it on the list of questions in heaven, Janelle. Yep. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, that's and that's the nugget. Uh, let us know what you think is distracting at church, because that's kind of what it devolved into this conversation. Uh -huh. Demon knees for sure. Demon knees, denim demon dance. Knees. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think of what distracts me at church. The, the hand of God in the projector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One time, uh, uh, the presenter froze the program. And so it was stuck on an old slide. And like, I just, I was feeling awkward for it. I'm like, change, change, change the slide. Those are lyrics <laughs> from like three slides ago. It's not changing. And then, and then it turned off and then nobody knew what to do. <laughs> oh, snap. Because it's like you're, you're just you're just singing. so used to it, and it was a song that was kind of I think one that everyone knew, but still we just didn't we doubted ourselves in the lyrics. Mm -hmm. We're like, do we know what the words are? <laughs> that tech team is so important. They really are, and when they're not distracting, they're doing well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are distracting. They're doing very poorly. <laughs> Nugget hate mail at gmail dot com. What distracts you in church? Farting. Oh, oh my gosh. Um. 